Human Factor Part 1. Hello there. How many times do I have to ask you not to lock the top lock? I'm sorry, v Violetta. I must have locked it automatically. Mm-hmm. It's not the first time. Is Leisha home yet? He called and said he'd be home soon. Good. What is this here? They're slippers. Yes, I see that these are slippers. But why do we need so many slippers? It's just that I'm having a birthday party and the guests will... All right, stop. Tell me something. Are you planning on celebrating your birthday here? Didn't Leisha tell you about it? No, he didn't. And I don't think he will. Because he knows exactly what I'm going to say about that. I see how it is. Anya? Can you come here, please? I just wanted to ask you what you're going to feed your husband. I made cutlets yesterday. Everything's in the fridge. I'll take them out and heat them up. Anya, I've explained it to you many times. It's dangerous for people's health to eat food that has undergone secondary heat treatment. You have to cook in small portions, but every single day. Is that clear, Anya? Violetta, honestly, I don't think anything bad will happen if Leisha eats yesterday's cutlets. Okay, but I just don't understand. I don't understand. If you don't have time to think about your husband, how are you going to have children? Hey, what's going on here, ladies? Nothing in particular, Leisha. Uh, Nothing's changed, it seems. <sighs> Alicia, I can't do it anymore. I'm tired of putting up with her constant nagging for everything I do. Anya, put up with it for a while. You know it's just my mother's character. Yeah, I know, and I also know that she won't get any better over time. Come on, babe, they're gonna finish our house soon. We'll move and everything will be fine. Hmm? I don't know, Alicia, it feels like they'll never finish that house. How could someone install power lines for two years? I don't know. All right, be patient for a bit longer. We'll have a housewarming soon and it'll all work out. Come here. Another couple of fights with your mother, and I won't live to see that day. Stop it, babe. Leisha, please let's move. To my room in the communal apartments, yes? At least it's going to feel more like our own place. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> A bunch of other people in the apartment is our own place? Mm, Anya. Yeah, I agree. It's not the best option. But at least I will feel like I'm in my own place. No one will tell me what to cook or how to behave all the time. Anya. Anya, I think you're making a huge deal out of something very small. Try to ignore my mother and not take anything she says to heart. I tried that, Leisha. I tried really hard. And I don't have any patience left. I'm begging you, please, let's move out. Please, darling. Leisha. Coming. Leisha. Hold on. <sighs> I 
I'm so sick of the two of you, seriously. We're moving to the communal apartment. Alicia? Where are you going, son, so late at night? Uh, huh? Mom. We're moving to Anya's communal apartment for a while. Alicia, I hope you're not being serious. I can't believe that my own son, being as sane as he is, has agreed to live in some filthy uh, rat hole. Mom, don't be so dramatic. We decided to move out on our own. You or Anya? What's the difference? There's a big difference, Alicia. And in general, I think your wife doesn't care about her own husband. She only thinks about herself. Don't, I warned don't you, start Ian. this. Hmm. It's my decision, and we're moving, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see how long you're going to last over there. Time to get rid of this clunker already. We really need to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. We just need to rob a bank to afford it. Why so extreme? Come on, we could just uh, ask for a loan. God, what loan, Alicia? We're up to our necks in debt for the apartment, and you want to buy a new car? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll drive this one till it dies then. Unexpected, guys. Hello. Oh, I couldn't find my keys. Sorry. I must have woken everybody up, right? No, no one's asleep yet. Uh, Mwah. Come on in. <laughs> Wait, why do you have suitcases? Well, we're going to stay in my room for a while until the house is finished. Mm. Oh, look at who we have here. Hello, Aunt Pisa. Hello there. We didn't come as guests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Anya. Hello. I am Lavin. I'm Leisha. Are you going to stay here for long? I don't know yet. I see. Great. I'll put you on the chores list then. Is that all right? Where? <laughs> let's Where go. is she going to put us? Let's go. Let's go. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Place of our own, you say, huh? Feels like everybody can see and hear everything. It only feels that way at first. You'll get used I to it. I don't want to get used to it. Isn't it better back home? <sighs> Leisha, this is our home now, babe. <clears throat> uh, this isn't home. A madhouse is what this is. Just lather rehearsing out there. Really? So early? I think I'm going to kill him. Mm. Oh, 
Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. You're right on time for breakfast. It's all still warm. Lava woke you up, didn't he? Yeah, forgot what that was like. All right, so tell me. What's going on with you and Leisha? Violetta scared you off? <laughs> I was thinking about how you're able to tolerate that bitch. Me, I wouldn't be able to last a single day with that woman. <laughs> I actually lasted there two days. Said, how did Leisha agree to move? He hates communal apartments, right? <sighs> yeah, we're hoping to get to move to our own apartment soon. As for me, girl, no hope left. Rita, what's the pessimism about? This is why Victor went to Moscow, come on. He'll earn money and you'll also get an apartment. I highly doubt that. I'm actually starting to suspect that he's got another woman over there. But why would you think that? Whenever I try calling him, he's either unavailable or he's with clients or something or other. There are all sorts of excuses all of the time. We haven't had an actual conversation. Girls, what's burning in here? <gasps> uh... You need to open the window. Oh. All right. Whew. It's hot. <sighs> I'm off to shower. Hey, Anya, good morning. Good morning. <sighs> hey, isn't it time to wake Leisha up? Oh, that's right, or he'll oversleep. Oh, Leisha, hold on, and he's in there. Let me in, please, or I'm gonna be late. Occupied. I know it, I just knew it. Here we go. It's begun. Don't worry about it. He'll get used to it. I'm afraid he won't. I know him all too well. <sighs> all right, I'm off. But what about breakfast? I'll have it later, I guess. I'll see ya. <sighs> I'm gonna go get dressed or I'll be late too. No, Mr. Alex, don't you worry about it. I won't leave you alone. We're past all deadlines already? Anya, are you even from this planet? We don't have time for that. They're firing the director. So what? I don't think our customers should be affected by our personnel reshuffles. Oh, my lord, listen to yourself. The best performer in the entire Soviet Union. A new broom sweeps clean, you know? Who knows what's coming? Who's going to end up in this street after the director? I'm sorry, but with that attitude at work, Mr. Alex, I think you're going to be the first. So, these aren't rumors after all. So this means you're really leaving. They're making me leave, actually. Pasha, and what about your promise? What promise? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. I've been working here for as long as I can remember, and head of the personnel department isn't my dream position. You promised to help me move up, and now you're leaving? Violetta, look, I'll try to solve this issue before I go. How? From your vacation home? I really hope our relationship won't change. Hmm. Well, what is your wife going to say about it? You didn't care much about her opinion before, why care now? Because times are changing. Violetta, Vita. No, but I honestly think Fedora's right. 
We really don't know what to expect from the new director. Don't expect anything. We'll keep on working just like we did before. Rita, put down your phone, will you? Eat something. I can't, though. Imagine. I'm writing text to Victor. Like, I love you, I miss you. And he doesn't answer a thing. And then I wrote him again, I miss you, call me. And nothing. What's your take on this? Maybe he's just busy. He, he doesn't have time. Well, okay, but he can't always be busy, can he? Oh. He's not answering me again. Uh, hello? Victor, hello. How are you? I'm working. I miss you so much. Yeah, I miss you too, but I can't talk right now. A customer's waiting. I'll call you a bit later. What do you mean later? <laughs> Who's the woman laughing in the background? All right, Rita, I'll, I'll call you back later, all right? Bye-bye. I know what kind of customers you have. <clears throat> I knew it all along. Listen, what's the earliest I can take it? I'll need it a week. There's an electronic failure, so we need full diagnostics. Can we speed up the process somehow? I really need the car, just desperately. I'll try, but it will be two or three days anyway, I no got less. It. Here you go. I'll, I'll call you on Friday. Well, thank you. Hey, don't you worry, all right? Your car is in the very best hands. Victor's our finest. He's a professional, a really professional guy, all right? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> sure. Sergey, I've got an offer for you. How about you work as my personal driver? How about that, hmm? I could even work as your personal cook, Andre. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great idea. Let's start by somewhere, have a snack and talk. I only had a cup of coffee this morning, hmm? Why did you get married if you don't get fed at home? Yours, on the other hand, feeds you quite well, huh? With pastries and cakes? I bet you don't fit into your car anymore, right? Well, you know how she cooks. It's impossible to say no to her food. I know, I know. You got lucky with your life, Sergey. I never even find mine at home, let alone near a stove. She wasn't barely back for a week, and then she left for Paris. Well, you got with a businesswoman. Have patience now. She's not the type to cook and nurse children, but so what? All right, Sergey, step on it. I need to make it to the ministry by five. Let's go. May I come in? Andre, hello, my dear friend. I haven't seen you for ages, it seems. Hello, Mr. Vladimir. Well, you know how life is. Lots of work. Yeah, yeah. How are you? How's the family life? I'm well. Everything's fine. Thanks. <laughs> well, thank God, friend. You know, Andre, let's cut the small talk and get straight to business. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where are you going to exile me this time, huh? <laughs> when you say it like that, well, I thought you liked it. We want to offer you the position of director and CEO of the Veronzic Aviation Plan. Hmm. The current one, sadly, failed to live up to our expectations. He almost brought the plant down altogether. And we've got orders for planes from the Ministry of Emergencies coming in. Mm-hmm. This is a real serious proposal. Well then, what are your thoughts about it? Mr. Vladimir, thank you for the offer and for trusting me. But may I think about it? Of course, think it over. Think it over. Talk it over with your wife if you need to. But you should know, Andre, I'm really counting on you. And I think that only you'd be capable of getting this plant out of its crisis. How much time do I have to decide whether to take it? I'm not hurrying you, of course. But I wouldn't delay the answer for too long if I were you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Laura. Hi, where are you? I landed. I'm already in Moscow. What do you mean? I was just going to pick you up at the airport. Oh, I took another earlier flight. Oh, I see. 
All right, then. Get some rest, and I'll book a table at a nice restaurant for the evening. Does that sound good? I've missed you very much. Yeah, that sounds fine. And I've missed you as well, Andre. See you. Water, for instance, responds very clearly to all information that surrounds it, and it... <laughs> Wait, so you're not even talking to each other? I actually hope. She's not my relative for much longer. Ugh, listen, why are you picking on Anya all the time? The kids live a normal life after all. Let them keep living. This is not the life I wanted for my son, all right? Anya wraps <sighs> him around her little finger. She's used to giving oh. orders at work and wants everything at home to be her way. She didn't like living with me, so she took him to some communal apartment dump. <sighs> well, what's so bad about it? The main thing is that he loves her. <sighs> he thinks he loves her. That's all oh. right for a while in the communal apartment. He'll get his head straight. You mark my words, he'll be home in a week. Oh. Well, Anya, you want to go with me? Stroll around the shops, maybe buy something? Shopping is the best medicine for being sad. I could use it a lot, actually. Stop winding yourself up, please. I really don't think that Victor's cheating on you. You don't know how betrayed I feel. Like a complete fool. There's a reason they say Moscow is a city of temptation, and Victor just fell for it. I would talk to him later if I were you. There's no way. I'm calling him like it's all good. I better go buy myself a blouse or something. Or two, that's better. <laughs> Two's better. Well, I think it's the bomb. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna wear it at home? I'll wear it anywhere. Total success. <laughs> Listen, I also bought this really cute skirt. Of course you bought it. So hot. <laughs> uh, uh, Alicia, what mm? happened to you? Can't you see it, sweetheart? The man here is in grief. Shh. What do you mean he's in grief? Hold on, Alicia. Uh, I'll be in my room if you need me at all. It's gone, Anya. What is gone? Our apartment went crashing down, is what I mean. We should be more specific. What happened? I mean that the construction company disappeared, Anya. What do you mean disappeared? It just disappeared. The office is closed. The police are all over the place right now. They're saying that the company was a scam. They weren't even going to finish the house. They just took the money we gave them and <laughs> took off with it. And what are we gonna do now? It's cool, Anya. What could we do? We earn some more money. It's cool. Mm-hmm. How much are you going to earn with your salary? More than half of the money was Anya. Rita. Okay? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh. What a twist to the story, huh? You mean to tell me I don't earn anything at all? Is that it? Leisha, I didn't say that. Oh, okay, you didn't say that. But your friend did. All right, ignore me then. Yeah, but it's cool, because now I see who the breadwinner is and who's the only one who works around here, right? All right, Leisha, let's go to the room and talk there. But why should we? We don't keep any secrets from neighbors, right? Let's go have a chat, fine. Mm-hmm, let's go. You start, come on. It was your idea. You're the one who invested in the apartment all along. Leisha, come go on, ahead. it doesn't matter whose idea it was. Either way, it won't make the apartment appear. But it was an awful lot of money oh, that we okay, put... so it's my fault then? Not only did I invest in this fake apartment scam and got all of our money stolen, I also didn't earn enough money. Listen, Leisha, instead of screaming, let's instead think of what we're going to do next. What to do next? There's only one way out of this. We need to go back to my mother's place. Oh, of course you would. Of course. It's the perfect opportunity for you. But I can't live on the battlefield all the time. I want to have a normal family life. Where? Here? In this communal apartment? Listen, normal life's at my mother's place. We had it good there. It was all fine. But you don't like that my mother makes all the decisions in her own damn house. No, I don't like that I felt like I was nobody there. And you never stood up for me during all the time that and we were that there. And that is my fault too, apparently. <laughs> uh. 
You know my mom was right about you. She said you'd blame everybody else but yourself, and you just proved it's true. Hi, Laura. How are you? Resting from the trip already? I reserved a table for 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, Andre, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. and went to Liza's and we sat around to chat about lady stuff, so don't be mad, okay? Okay. I'll see you when you get home. I've never seen Leisha like this before. Yeah, I heard it too. He screamed at you like a madman. And you just had to say something about the salary, right? Well, isn't it totally true? I mean, you make more than he does, don't you? What does it matter who makes more? It doesn't erase this awful situation. Have a drink here. Why don't you let a humble musician share the sadness of two beautiful muses? Lover, thanks. That medicine would sure come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've got quite the support group here. I understand your situation more than you think, Anya. I remember back when I was young and naive. Someone stole my whole salary in a taxi. It threw off my entire year. <laughs> and Fisa really knows how to calm a person down, doesn't she? What I meant to say, my dear, is that if you lose something somewhere, you're destined to find something else later. Huh. Excuse me, but how much money did you find? No money. I got married soon after, so love is what I found. You see, girlfriend? It's either money or it's true love. So far now, there's no money, so that means Leisha's going to show up tomorrow and say he loves you. <laughs> That's right. At least I got lucky with my neighbors. Love, Renty? Alicia, where do you think you're going? To Moscow. What do you mean, Moscow? Why? What do you mean, why? To make back the money for the apartment. Good programmers are needed everywhere, and the salary there is much higher than it is here. When were you planning on telling me that you were leaving? Uh, 
I was going to send a text when I got there. Send me a text? Yeah. Hmm, how considerate. Don't you think we should talk about this first? What's to discuss, huh? Anya, what's to discuss? You can't live with my mother and I can't live here, okay? We're going to be waiting for that apartment for the factory for another hundred years. Just one thing left to do and that's to earn more. I think such decisions should be made together, though. And your leaving looks a lot like a vacation. Awesome. Calling me a coward now, are we? What does it have to do with this? You're leaving me with so many other problems. To start with, we need to pay a lot of debt. I'll be sending you money often. <sighs> this isn't just about money. <sighs> I need to go. I'll call you as soon as I find a job. Knock, knock. Has Leisha called at all? Nothing. I'm so worried about him. What if something happened to him? May I? Anya, look. You don't need to worry that much. Your Leisha isn't calling because he has nothing to say yet, that's why. I bet he's looking for a job right now. He needs a prestigious job, a well-paid one, so he can feel like a man for you. He doesn't think about whether you're worried or not. Men don't think like we do. You need to chill out for a bit, girl. Let's go to the movies or take a walk, huh? No, Rita, thank you, but no. I don't want to do anything. My husband's God knows where, and there's no money. I don't know what to do. All right, that's it. Come on, let's go. We'll take a walk, relax, that's the best we can do. No. What a beautiful dress. Come on, put it on, and let's go take a walk. I'll wear my new clothes. Come on, let's go, one second. Good evening, ma'am. Please excuse us. Good evening. Well, hello again. You're going for a walk, aren't you? Well, of course you are. Since you sent your husband to earn money, you can walk now, right? <sighs> no one sent anyone. It was Leisha's own decision. Well, of course it was. First, he left his mother's apartment all on his own. Then he went to Moscow to earn money on his own. All on his own. Although, frankly speaking, I understand him well. Anyone would run away from this place. <sighs> Actually, Leisha went to earn money for another apartment, ma'am. What choice did he have left? Stay here and tolerate your constant nagging? You know what? I didn't invite you here, and I'm not going to listen to the nasty things you're saying to me. Oh. As they say, the upbringing is evident. All right, I actually just came to get the keys. Leisha had my spare ones. Hmm. You know, Anya, all kinds of things happen. Goodbye, Anya. a job over here. Congratulations. The salary's three times as big as before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said that the salary's three times. Hey there, bartender. Two, the usual. The money as before, huh? What's that music there? Where are you? No. What What music is that? I, Thanks a lot. No, I, I, look, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear you. All right, all right. I'm going to go now. All right, listen. Bye, bye. All right.
What's up? You want to grab some lunch? Mm-hmm. Dude, why aren't you coming with us? There's a restaurant near here. They've got great business lunches. Yep. Thanks, I already had tea for uh, lunch. To each his own, man. Oh, why didn't you go to lunch with them? Are you on a diet too? Yeah. Cool sweater you're wearing. Vintage, isn't it? Vintage. Something old or antique. He also bought a brand new phone. He says that his old one went out of style. That's an interesting picture. All right, is he gonna send you the money or not? Are you gonna have to pay all the bills on your own? I sure hope I don't. Otherwise, I'll have to sell the car, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's an extreme measure. But since we have the car for now, I suggest we go somewhere cool and have fun. Enough sulking around at home. Well, of course. <laughs> I said it. When the cat is away, the mice will play. You know what? Let's actually go out somewhere and have fun, Rita. Either way, my mother-in-law is going to think that we were here having fun without our husbands, right? Hmm. <laughs> Why are you scaring me like this? Aren't we on a first-name basis anymore? Pasha, we're not alone here. People are around. Well, then I'll have to ask you to get in the car and talk with me. I have nothing to talk about with you. Go home, enough. Go home to your wife and kids. Laura, you're later than usual. I've got a lot of work to do. I thought I was the only workaholic in the family, but I think you got ahead mm -hmm. of me. Are you hungry at all? I made dinner, but I didn't eat without you. Honey, I'm not hungry at all right now. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, are you feeling all right? In general, yes, a bit of a headache, so I'm gonna go lie down, okay? Laura, wow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, is there something I don't know? Oh, of course there isn't. It's Liza. She she thinks she's pregnant and she asked me to buy a test. Oh, why couldn't she do the test herself? Her relationship is a bit rocky and she definitely can't have a baby with him right now. Mm-hmm. And us? What about us? Isn't it time for us to think about a baby? Andre, we will, of course we will. Just not right now. What's happening between the two of us? Nothing is happening. I'm just very tired. But you spend all your time at work lately. I can't even talk to you anymore. All right, go ahead, so let's talk. Laura, sweetheart, let's go out on a date somewhere tomorrow, hmm? Oh, Andre, I really can't do it tomorrow. Partners from Kiev are coming. I'm going to be busy all day. I expected that. 
I've got news for you. I've been offered a position as director of an aviation plant, but in order for me to get it, you and I must move to Veronzik. Veronzik? Yes. Andre, what are you saying? I mean, come on, I can't move to Veronzik. First of all, this is not for long and it's not forever. Second, do you realize how important this opportunity is? And my job isn't important? Uh, Andre, what the hell am I going to do in Veronzik? <sighs> I know. You know what? Forget I said anything at all. <sighs> Andre, I'm sorry. You should understand that everything is only beginning to work out with the company and I can't just give it up. So I'll tell you what, I promise that as soon as I'm back, we'll go out somewhere together and we'll do something really romantic, hmm? Are you going somewhere again? Didn't I tell you about that? <sighs> Good evening. Is it cool if I offer to buy you a drink? No. Okay, go ahead. And what would the beautiful stranger like to drink? All right, well, the beautiful stranger would like uh, a mojito. You're literally reading my mind. I still don't know your name. <laughs> Natasha. Uh, and my name's Leisha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, can we have two mojitos? Yeah, you got it. Shall we dance in the meantime? <laughs> It's your phone. Huh? It's your phone. Uh, 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 yeah, it's mine. It doesn't matter. Uh, I bought so much today, didn't I? Here, give me. Let me help you. Why do I even need so much stuff? It's such a bad habit. You don't want anything when you're alone. Ugh. We're both seriously complete fools. We shouldn't have let our men go to the capital on their own. Did they even ask us? Well, that? we won't ask them either. We'll find replacements for them before they come home. I mean, we're not getting any younger here. Are you being serious? Very serious. Are you really going to wait for him? That's if he comes back. You'll be old by then. Oh, check that out. How do you like that handsome thing? He's not wearing a ring. There's a chance. So what, are you gonna go over there and meet him? No, I could give him to you if you want him. <laughs> Rita, don't be nuts, woman. Anya, but I wanna go nuts so much. And look, I don't think he's wearing a ring. I think that's got to be a good sign. Oh, yeah. Definitely a sign, sure. <laughs> Let's go. Anya, stop over there. I need to check my bank balance, please. Right here? Yeah, here. Oh, 
Hello. Uh, lady, help me. I'm begging you. Give me a ride to the train station, <laughs> sorry, please. Sorry, I'm not a taxi. I'm sorry. I'm in such a rush. I'm out of time. We're practically almost there. Straight. Four turns. That's it. I'm begging you. Come on. Help me, please. Sir, all right, really we'll don't. help. Hop on in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, girls. Terminal isn't working. Ugh. Rita, what are you doing? Is this guy another option without a ring? No. This time we're making a few bucks. You could use it, right? Go! Why are we stopped here? Let's go, let's go, let's go, girls. Let's go. I thought you wouldn't be home. Did something happen? Yeah, I saw you earlier. And your so-called partner from Kiev. Forgive me, Andre. I know I should have told you about this before, but I just couldn't do it. So that means that there were no work trips, they were all made up? There were. Well, we went there together. It's his company. Well, not anymore, he gave it to me. So you met him before you met me, then? Yes. Well, and when I met you, we decided to end things. I honestly thought that it was all in the past. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Andre. I thought I was alone in this car, huh? Can I come in? Be my guest. All right, thank you. At least I have someone to talk to on the ride, because the road to Voronzec is mighty long. Hi, my name's Mikhail, by the way. Nice to meet you, Andre. Andre? Well, Andre, let's drink. It's a good company, shall we? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'll have to say no, because I've got a, a business meeting tomorrow morning. That's no problem. We'll just, we'll just have a little bit. Your tickets, please. Here you go. My name's Mikhail, by the way. And you are? Wow, my goodness. Where are you going dressed that way? Do you want coffee? Coffee? Not a chance. We are going to take a nice romantic ride on a river bus. That's interesting. Who's we? Tell me. <gasps> Xenia and I. Xenia? Who's she? It's a he, not a she. He's a handsome guy. I met him three days ago. And you didn't tell me about it? I don't know why, but I didn't feel like telling. And also, I wasn't sure if I wanted to date him yet. 
And are you sure now? Oh, Anya, he's so darn cool. <gasps> Rita, but what about Victor? I'm sure he's not wasting his time either. What about you? You gonna sit at home? I'm not. I'm gonna work hard and earn money. <laughs> hmm. And have you heard anything at all from Leisha? Hmm. He says they're delaying the salary. Right, and the wife must get by somehow. Oh. You leaving? No, I wanted to make pies, but I have to get cranberries first. The old ladies at the station always have them. Oh, it's your birthday tomorrow, isn't it? Where are you gonna celebrate? Just at work, as usual. Then with the neighbors. That's not even a question. <sighs> All right, I'm leaving, it's time to go. Oh, and by the way, how do you think I look? Perfection. Oh, yeah. Good luck to you, handsome. <sighs> <laughs> So I don't get it. You've got two families? Well, this is how it happened. I've got one family in Moscow and another in Voronzec. And how do you manage not letting them find out about each other after all these years? How would they ever find out? I'm always on business trips, you see? I spend two weeks in Moscow and two weeks in Voronzec. That's fantastic. And you have kids? Of course I do. Full-size families. I've got two sons in Moscow and a daughter in Voronzec. Tell me, Mikhail, what if they decide to send someone else on the business trip instead of you, then what? Send who? They won't find a better supply agent anywhere else. Nope, not a chance. Bring it in. <laughs> Leisha, do you want some coffee? Yeah, I won't say no. Can you fix my computer? It's acting really weird recently, and Skype, too. It has some bugs. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fix anything yeah, for you. Yeah, anything? <laughs> yeah, I'll do everything mm. the best way. What would I do without you? <sighs> Hold on. Uh, who is Anya? ex-wife. We're divorcing. We don't, um, live together. She's in Verunsnik. It's been over for a while now. Apparently she's, um, uh, calling to ask about the divorce date. So if you want to discuss the divorce date, why aren't you answering the phone? Am I in the way or something? Oh, my mom. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi, mom. I'm so glad to hear from you. <laughs> Uh, no, nothing. I'm visiting someone. Uh, uh, uh huh. <laughs> Say hello to your mom for me. Say hello for me. Yeah, mom. Someone says hello. Uh, yeah, uh, nice girl actually. Uh, of course I'll introduce her. Mom, uh, can I call you back a little later? No. Okay. All right. Bye. You bad girl. <laughs> Thank God, we're almost there. Yeah, we are. Oh, I already miss my family so much. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not that funny to me. You know how hard it is to provide for two families at the same time? It's like a damn mule. And then there are those constant problems over at the plant. Subcontractors delay the supplies. Mm -hmm. You can't get anything without giving them a cut. <laughs> Worst part is that we don't know what to expect. Look, when the old director there was fired, we thought they'd appoint some of our guys, but they sent someone from Moscow. Well. Well, that's all right. He won't stay for long. I can assure you of that. Hold on, Mikhail. Tell me, do you work at the aviation plant? Yeah, the aviation plant. Well, all right. It was nice to meet you, my friend. And as they say, goodbye and good luck to you. I'm selling you the last I've got. Money, please. All right. 
Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Yes, hello. I'm here, where are you? I'm near the 14th car, but you're not here. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be waiting for you at the exit. Okay, then. Oh! Oh. Damn. What have you done? Me? Lady, seriously, can't you see where you're going? Uh. <sighs> yeah, but I saw what happened. You nearly knocked me down, maybe dropped my cranberry. I'm sorry, but you're the one who tore my pants. Look, of course I'm sorry that this just happened. But I'm guessing that these are not your last pants, and these were the last cranberries. Oh, you can buy cranberries anywhere in this city. What a smartass. Hello, Andre. Good to see you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Who are you? Oh, I'm Valerie, your deputy. Nice to meet you, Valerie. How was the trip? Fine, except I almost lost my pants just now. Damn it. Take the suitcase, please. The car is this way. It was extremely awkward with the pants, of course. But it was all his fault. He pushed me and then he wanted to blame me for it. Why are you so surprised? Those men on work trips start getting drunk early in the morning. They can hardly stand up. This one was sober, I think. And he was also really well dressed. Was he good looking? What difference does it make? He made me scatter half a bucket of cranberries. How will I make my pies now? Don't think it'll be enough? Well, it could be enough for one, maybe. But I'll have to think of something else to feed the neighbors. Huh, easy, just buy a cake, that's all. Do you understand that we'll all be covered in dirt if this goes on like this? Um, Pisa, what do you mean by that? Exactly this. I mean that we're repairing the hallway all next weekend. Why are they fixing it? How much longer are we gonna live here? That would just be a waste of money. Wallpaper costs pennies. We'll glue it on ourselves. At least it'll be clean because it looks like a barn now, honestly. All right, Rita, collect the money, please. I guess you're right. I'd better just buy a cake. Good morning. Good morning. How are your accommodations? Thanks. It's all wonderful. Do you like the apartment? A lot. All right, great. Thank you. Right now, I'm going to show you our management team. Great. Right now, we're in our accounting department. Uh-huh. Great. Technology. All right. Legal. Yeah. A bit later, yeah. I'll introduce you to all heads of our technical services. Well, all right. Sounds good. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Thank you. An interesting man, that was. And I've heard he's divorced. Oh, that doesn't affect me, really. I've got completely different plans for him. Sveta, I want you to meet our new CEO, Mr. Andrei Shvedov. Try to give him a warm welcome, as they say. Well, not necessarily warm, but still a nice welcome. <laughs> if you don't mind, would you call the chief engineer, please? Of course, Mr. Andrei, right away. Thank you, and we'll discuss current issues later, uh, in an hour. And then after lunch, I'm thinking you could show me the workshops. Of course, sounds good. <laughs> this way. Alexander, come to the CEO's office, please. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Thanks a lot. You're looking nice. 
Yeah, and happy birthday, by the way. Sorry I didn't bring you a present. I'm not actually celebrating. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're doing fine, by the way. Holding on. Although, what else could you do in your situation? What situation would that be? Well, you know. The husband's gone. No calls and no letters. God knows what he's doing in Moscow right now. Yoletta, if you want to say something, say it already. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, no. I've already said it all. Here you go. Oh, so nice. uh, where's the birthday girl? Happy huh? birthday. The buttercream frosting. Here you go. Oh, Champagne's getting nice. flat. Yeah. Where's the birthday girl? You only think about drinking, Mikhail. Yeah, that's what I'm like. And I've come a long way, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anya, finally you're here. Anya. I've been waiting a long time for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here you go. Anya, happy birthday. <laughs> Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hi. Hey. Happy birthday. Huh? Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 You look so lovely today. Not really, I'm okay. so What are you doing here? Cheers. Andre? Ah, what a coincidence! Ha <laughs> ha! Hello! Misha, do you know him? Of course I do. We were together on the train heading here. Hey, but why didn't you tell me straight away that you were going on a work trip to our plant? Huh, he's simply the best. We're celebrating a birthday. Someone get my friend here a drink, okay? Thanks a lot, but I don't drink during work hours. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't invite him anyway. If you need the accounting department, you can come after lunch. All right, I will. Thank you. Uh, but I'd like to warn you all for the future. Please organize all parties and get-togethers for after working hours. Andre, excuse me. Why are you lecturing us, huh? Really? <laughs> I mean, come on. Andre, hello. Here you are. I've been looking for you. I see you've already gotten acquainted with the team. Yeah, he's the best. Actually, I'm in the process. Uh, in the process. Meet our brand new CEO and director, Mr. Andre Shvedov. Good afternoon. Director. Such luck on his first day of work, the poor guy, right? But you didn't know who he was. It doesn't matter now anyway. I've got a feeling that this story about torn pants won't go unnoticed. Oh, don't be ridiculous. He won't fire you because of his pants, I promise. <laughs> he could do it for drinking during working hours. He could easily fire me if he wanted to. Mm. I haven't been expecting anything good lately either at work. Or at home. You mean Leisha? Has he said happy birthday? No, not yet. What a jackass. Forgetting your wife's birthday is the worst thing one can do. I know. He's actually changed so damn much. He's estranged, you know? And then there's my mother-in-law, always dropping strange hints. Leisha didn't tell me much, but I understood that she's a good girl. From Moscow, with her own apartment. Not like this little simpleton. I'd better come and meet her soon. Look at how they live and check her out. <laughs> Your Leisha lived quite well with Anya, it seems. <laughs> I'm afraid, my dear, that no daughter-in-law would be good enough for you. Oh. The only advantage is that you won't have to go to Moscow too often. Perhaps they'll have what a life of their own. What if I decide to move in with them in Moscow? <laughs> Then there goes that life of their own. Very funny. <laughs> Another thing concerns me now. I should set my relations with the new director straight. If I know that I won't get that promotion, my days here are numbered. May God bless you. And may he watch over your son. And may you get your promotion, dear. Hmm? <laughs>
Andre, all deadlines will be met. We'll do it on time. Everything will be done Thank as you. promised. Everything is promised, okay? Excuse Nikolai, me. We're running out of time, so the plans are big today. Tell me. Conditioning system, assembly and installation, and a big request. We need to commission it on time, okay? What are you doing here? What do you mean, I work here? Do we really have the accounting department over here, in the assembly shop? <laughs> Why did you decide I work in the accounting department? I saw you there half an hour ago, so I thought that you did. If you saw me in the canteen, you would have thought that I'm a cook then, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually, because cooks are, um, nice folks. Mm-hmm. And you got so mad at me because of your cranberries, so please, let me compensate you for, for the damage. How much do I owe you? You owe the whole plant now, actually. Do you know how long our salary is going to be delayed? I see you're already acquainted, yeah? Andre, this young lady here is our test engineer, Anya Krimova. I'll get back to work now, if you both don't mind. Don't you have any male test engineers at this plant? Our Anya could give any man a run for his money. Specialists like Anya are rarities in this city. Mm-hmm. That's good. We even had a contest for her position. The previous director was skeptical about women, too, so we held an anonymous test. Anya passed the test with flying colors. She won in a landslide, you could say. Hmm. Tell me, were there... Any delayed salary payments for the employees under the previous management? It happened under the old director, yes. Mm -hmm. I see. Take me further, please. This way. We want to do a happy birthday toast. Perhaps you'll have the cake without me. Are you out of your mind without you? Come on. My mood's not festive at the all. The mood's Sorry. something you can fix. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look! Our dear Anya, happy birthday to the gorgeous birthday girl. Wow, you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a table you've set for me. Oh, come on, dear. What table? It's all very simple. I made some Olivier, that's all, and took out some sour cabbage. And I had a piece of meat, so I decided to roast it. <laughs> and I had some fancy leftover champagne from last year. You are all so wonderful to me. Oh, right, presents, presents. Oh. Coquette and Lavra. Attention. <laughs> uh, here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and this here is a place for you to put Aww. your flowers. Toast. Anya, honey, happy birthday. You're the most beautiful, the cleverest, the bestest, the smartest, and the prettiest. <laughs> Anya, may God give you happiness. I beg your pardon, guys. I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Anya? Rita, 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 let her be. Lisha didn't call, right? Then I understand. Oh, and I prepared a birthday set list for her. Come on, play something. Play what, though? Well, not classical, obviously. Play something cheerful. All right. I might. So you can all resign. If you want. I'll be the first to sign off on the resignation. Then we will. We're already yeah, working absolutely. overtime. What happened here? What's the fuss about? The new director is tightening the screws. He just started working here and he moved the deadline for the state order. 
move the deadline. Doesn't he want to raise our salary at the same time? He does. That's exactly what the bonus fund is for. Hello. Hmm, perhaps there's a fund somewhere, but we haven't seen any bonuses. I promise you that we'll deal with it, but to do it, you and I need to leap ahead, understand? We need to do that in order to move away from apparently underestimated deadlines. <laughs> well, since you're so worried about terms, perhaps you should also check the date of commissioning the plant's housing. <laughs> People have been waiting for their apartments for ages. We'll check on it for sure. I'm telling you once again. I promise we'll deal with the fund and with the salaries. You need to understand, it will not happen tomorrow. These things take time. Therefore, everybody should be doing their job in the meantime. Is that clear? It's good that you're here. Let's have a talk. Come. Your coffee, Mr. Andre. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. May I come in, Mr. Andre? Yeah, Valerie. Sure, come in. Have a seat, please. I wanted to know why it is that the workers complain about a consistent delayed salary. Is it an issue or just in rare cases? Yes, there were some delays, but it's hard to call it an issue, really, sir. That's how they are, always complaining. If workers complain, it's a signal to the management that measures must be taken. How are things going with the construction of the housing for the workers? All is going according to plan. We've started building the second unit. Yeah? Have you commissioned the first one? Not yet. We decided to complete construction on the first and then put all our resources into finishing the second one. I'm sorry, but I can't disagree with you more on that. We have to start finishing work on the housing that's already built first. And immediately give flats to people who have priority. First of all, to families with children, and who are the best workers. Is, is that clear? Do you understand? Yes, it is. All right. I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah? Yes, I hear you loud and clear. And when is this damn divorce? Yes. Stop over here, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got it. By what? No, I won't remember it like that. Let me call you from the store, all right? Bye. Thank you, lady. Mm -hmm. All the best to you. Goodbye. Goodbye thanks. Take care. Lady, you really saved me. Thank you so much. Uh, no, not all at the all. best. Hello, Lisa. Yeah, it's Here me. No, we don't accept cards. The system's stuck today. Sorry, sir. Oh, I see. Here, take this. Another hundred, please. I understand, lady, but I've got some problems with cash at the moment. I'll have to cancel it. Hurry up! Can't you see people are waiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Andre. How are you? Hello. Here, please take this. What are you doing? Don't pay for my things. What do you mean, don't pay? Look at the line, sir. Come on. Wow, it is a long line. Take the receipt. Thank, Thank you, you for your purchase. Much. Wait a minute. Why did you do that? You really didn't have to do that. You put me in a, an awkward position now. Oh, did I? And here I thought I helped you get out of one. Thank you very much, sure. But I don't like owing anything to anybody. You really don't owe me anything. 
Consider it compensation for your torn pants. Okay. Thank you very much for your help once again. Not at all. See you around. See you around. Good evening, Anfisa. Hello, dear. What's that delicious smell I smell? Hmm. Hmm? No, thanks, I already ate. That's all right, it's not ready yet. Hmm. Anya, are you a night owl too, dear? You're away most evenings. I've started to work as a taxi driver. I could sure use the extra money. Why do you ask? Well, Rita doesn't come home. Sometimes not even at all. Ugh. Although I do understand you girls. <laughs> Your husbands are real idiots for leaving such incredible wives. Do you know what Moscow's like at all? You can't leave once you get there. What's going on out there? I'll go check it out. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. He's just here for the night. I couldn't just leave him there. In the rain alone. Go to the room quickly before Anfisa sees you. Hurry up. Okay. All right. You wet little thing. Oh, you, my little, my pretty little thing. So beautiful, so wet. No one feeds you ginger. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Mama's going to give you some fried chicken. Let's go, honey. Let's go, ginger. Come here, baby. Come on, to the kitchen. Come on. Darling, you're so cute. Oh, you left that, do you? And it also said that the most important thing is to love yourself. Because when you love yourself so much, everyone loves you too. But as soon as you let yourself decline... Oh, look, it's Vera. Should we give her a lift? Well, of course. Hmm. Hello. I'm so lucky to have run into you. I'm late as always. You know, I have to get two kids ready for school and one for kindergarten. I don't even have time for breakfast sometimes. That's terrible, Vera. How are you coping with all that? I've gotten used to it, but this damn overcrowding sucks. So many things, bed standing in two rows. I'm so damn tired of this awful life. Well, hang in there. They'll give you an apartment soon and it'll be easy. If they only would. We aren't on the top priority list, though. You aren't on it. How come? Who knows why? I don't know. Maybe there are people more desperate than me. No, I understand I'm in the second priority. I don't have kids. I mean, I know I get that, but how could they cross you out? No, Vera, we have to deal with it. Why do we have to deal with it? Management knows better. Management knows better? They don't know a thing. Oh, Anya, thank you for the ride. Oh, no big deal. Well, there should at least be justice in this world, right? Have you heard? The new CEO gave the order to hurry, with commissioning the housing. So then, Marina, we're about to have a housewarming party. Oh, Violetta, I think I'll have to say no. This isn't good, just think about it. Vera from the accounting department has three kids and she's only second priority. And we're in the forefront, I mean, But what about on. us? We have the right, too. Uh, well, yeah, on paper. 
Who's going to check it? Moreover, didn't I split the account for a reason? I've got it all by the book. A room in the communal apartment, expecting improvement. But what if someone finds out that your neighbor is your own son? Who would find out? We've got different uh. last names. I took my maiden name after the divorce. We have no one to be afraid of. Don't you need an apartment, Marina? I do, of course. But what I don't understand is why you need all this. What's to understand? I've got a son. And he could use a separate apartment in case something happens. And if it works out for him in Moscow, we'll just rent it out. Uh, I see, yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Anya. There is justice after all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I need to talk to the director. Mr. Andre's busy right now. When will he be free? I don't know. But first, you'll need to make an appointment to see him. Hmm. It's urgent. I don't want an appointment. Uh, hello. Hello. I need you to print two copies of this, please. Two All copies. Right. Andre, could I have a second? Sorry, but I've got an urgent question. Uh, yes, come on in. Right this way. I wanted to find you myself to pay the debt. Oh, this is not about the debt. It's actually about Mrs. Kudria. Oh, who would Mrs. Kudria be? She's a mother of many children who lives in a communal apartment with three kids. And she's somehow not on the top priority list. Perhaps there are people who need it more than she does. I'm sure that you can find people on the list that could very well wait for a little longer. All right, I'll look into it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm on the list for that apartment too, but I think I can um, wait a little longer. Hello, Shredov here. Yes, Vladimir, hello. Yeah, I'm still at the plant. <laughs> what can I tell you? I haven't sunk yet. No, I'm still trying to swim. <laughs> no, that's not a joke. Got it, of course I'll come. Yes, absolutely. Great, see you in Moscow then. Goodbye now. It's me. Listen, don't wait for me, okay? I'll go on my own, yes. Come on, I'm telling you, I want to take a walk. All right then, bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's something. Hey, boss, give me a ride downtown? Good evening, Mr. Andre, how are you? You? Sorry, I thought it was a taxi. You're right, this is actually a taxi. Where are you going? Uh, home, actually. All right, so get in. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I think this is destiny. Wherever I go, I find you. Tell me honestly, are, are you following me? Yeah, I just can't forget the first time we met. 
Does this happen often? Yes, unfortunately. Mm. Well, I see. Uh, you know what? Let's switch places. Perhaps I'll be able to do something. Come on, let me see. my car is. Oh, um, keep in mind that the car is really old. You can't go faster than 70 on it. Got it. How long have you been working like this? <laughs> Since my husband left me to go earn money. But I really don't see the point. Why would you work as a cab driver and at night? Uh, this isn't because of the good life, believe me. By the way, thank you for today's visit. You were completely right. Several people are actually on the list for no reason at all. Therefore, your Mrs. Kudria will be on the top priority list. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I knew there had to be justice somewhere in the world. Well, I guess this is it. I think it's done. Well, I think we'll push it there by morning. Hey, Andre, listen. Yeah. Oh, come on. I, I could call a towing service. Yeah? Do you have that service? No, I don't. Not sure why I said that. <laughs> That's it. Do you need a ride? Uh, oh, okay, I'll ask. Just uh -huh. give me a minute. Anya, the driver's offering to give us a ride. Let's go. Oh, thank you. I only have a five-minute walk through the yards and I'll be home. Yeah? I'll go through the yards, too. You need to go in a completely different direction. I like walking at night, actually. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. We'll go on foot. <laughs> Anya, I'm sorry, but uh, may I ask you a question? Why did you pick this profession? It, it seems fairly weird for a girl. <laughs> it's because of my father. He was a pilot and often took me with him. I've known planes like the back of my hand since I was a child. Your father must be very proud of you. He died five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh it's nothing. I'm sorry. I've completely mixed you in. Oh, come on. Um, thank you for walking me. It's my pleasure. Good night, Andre. Good night, Anya. Surprise. Well, I almost felt it coming. Who would think that he'd check all of it? And by himself. What a real shame this is. At least Mr. Shvedov didn't read our names aloud in front of everybody. But it doesn't make it any easier. Well, here goes my promotion, I guess. Hmm, I need to think of something now. 
fix my reputation before the new director somehow. He's going to Moscow tomorrow, I think. Now there's an idea. Hmm. I've been thinking about visiting Leisha for a while now. I'll also get a chance to meet my new daughter-in-law. They've got such service on trains now. Oh, Andre, hi, what a surprise. Yes, it is. No, seriously, what a pleasant surprise this is. Pleasant, sure. Why are you sitting back there so far away? So why don't you get a bit closer to the table? Uh, no thanks, I, I've just had lunch. Well, let's have tea then, with some homemade patties. Look at them, mm, yum. <clears throat> where are you going? What do you mean where for tea? Oh, come on. I've got it all. It's all in my thermos. With mint, by the way. Homemade liquor, perhaps, hmm? No, thanks. I'm all oh, right. Oh, come on. You won't say no to a lady. Andre, I'm serious. And also, well, it'd be a lot easier to talk business over a glass. Yeah, what business? Here. Look at this beauty, will you? Have a drink. Don't leave me hanging. Hmm? Mm hmm Drink up. <sighs> Violetta was on vacation recently. Has she gone somewhere again? She's going to Moscow to meet her new mother-in-law. What didn't she like about the old one, I wonder? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The girls kept me a while. Let's go. Anya? Yeah, let's go home. Anya? What's wrong, girl? Anya? Well, thank you for the ride, Andre. Not a problem. Here you I'll go. I'll take that. <sighs> Excuse me, but I'm going to need just a minute, all right? Oh, all right, mm -hmm. sure. Larissa. Oh, hello, Andre. There's no need to worry, this isn't your baby. So you just didn't want my children? Don't say that, please don't. Help you with the suitcase, oh, please. Oh, no, no, no. My son is going to meet me. You've got such a beautiful acquaintance there. Oh, yeah, that's uh, my wife, Larissa. Oh, I see. That's nice. All right, good luck in your trip, then. <laughs> goodbye, Andre. Huh? Yeah, goodbye, thanks. Mom, you have to try the eggplant. Insanely tasty. Thank you very much. It's delicious. How do you like her? She's adorable. Oh. Oh, but she can't cook worth a darn son. But the eggplants are all right, right? <laughs> Forget eggplants. Do you realize how unbelievably lucky you got? It's just incredible. Could you even compare Anya to her? Thank God. I think I can finally stop worrying about you. <laughs> and this is her apartment, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Her parents actually gave it to her. She has wonderful parents. Mm -hmm. Just wonderful, really. And she's an amazing girl, my darling. Mm -hmm. I really hope you've already proposed to her. Mom, I'm not divorced yet. Why are you stalling then? Do you want to lose Natasha because of that little village simpleton? Apply for divorce immediately, do you hear Mom. me? Mom. 
are you guys doing? Is it yummy? Simply oh. wonderful. <laughs> Delicious. The chicken is ready. The chicken is ready, Mom. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I may have burnt it. Oh, come on, Natasha. You're a wonderful hostess, darling. <laughs> oh, my children, I'm <clears throat> so... I'm so happy for the both Let's of Let's make a toast to that, then. Let's toast to that. <laughs> <laughs> well then, would you like to try the chicken? Oh, yeah, Mom, here you Thank go. Thank you so much. Your plate, please. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> I already got my salad. <laughs> Just delicious. Thank you. Excuse okay. me. again? Come on, tell me what happened. Oh, Rita, I knew he was a coward, but I didn't know how much of a coward he was. You still haven't talked to him at all? He didn't pick up the phone for two weeks. And yesterday, some girl picked up and told me not to call him again. That sounds really strange. <sighs> the worst is he can't call and tell me about it himself. As if I'm a meaningless stranger to him. Although that's what I am, I guess. I've been thinking and... And? I'm applying for a divorce. Hmm. You know, you're right to do that. How much longer do you have to suffer like this? Totally right. You're young and beautiful. Time to start a new life. You're a free woman. Yeah, you're right. I've had enough of this crying. Time to get ready for work or I'm gonna be late. All right, stop. This is exactly where we're going to start. What? Where? We're starting with your appearance. Put this great thing down immediately. Ginger! My pretty baby, my little prince! Look, our Anya's crying, our Anya's crying. We gotta make her feel better. Let's go and find something amazing for you to wear. Hmm? We're gonna make her a queen, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, good boy. Well, that's it, I guess. Divorce is not a wedding. Not as expensive and not as fun. Andre, I'm, I'm really sorry that all of this had to happen like this. Tell me something honestly. Are you happy? Yeah. Well, don't be sorry then about any of this. You know, it, it seems to me that you've also had some pleasant changes in your life lately though, right? What makes you think that? I see it in your eyes. Huh. There's a special glimmer to them now. That's just the sun. Well? What did I tell you, huh? You look mind-blowing, babe. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I want to look mind-blowing. No, I'd rather shoot myself than wear this to work. You're wearing it, and you'll be thanking me for it later. Do you know what I look like in this? Like the most beautiful woman in the world. And you're always going to dress like that from now on. Do we have a deal? We'll see, maybe. 
<laughs> it's totally a deal. It's just me. <laughs> well, darling, do you want to know hey. what I bought? Look, it's tickets. On Saturday, we are all going together to the Jazz All-Stars show. Wow. <laughs> On Saturday? Yes, dear. Um. <clears throat> Lesha, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, um, <sighs> Mom, if you'll excuse us. <sighs> Uh, I'm not going to play hostess for your mom anymore. I am done. Is your mother going to live here forever? <sighs> if she really wants to stay in Moscow until the weekend, then let her look for a hotel. Uh, but, this is not a hotel. I just don't know how to tell her that. Uh, you don't know how to tell her? I'll tell her then. N Natasha, please calm down. I'll tell her, but I'll do it later. I promise, yeah? Hmm? <laughs> mother! What's to explain? What's to explain? You decided to kick your own mother out of mom, the house. Mom, hold on. That's it. M mom, I, uh, uh, listen, I'll get you a room in a really nice hotel. Don't bother, son. Thank you, because I'll never set foot here no, again. Mom, come on, don't leave. Mom, where are you go? The more often you read the tarot cards asking about a man, the more you actually begin to attract him. This is because when you're doing a reading, you think about him. And what happens is he starts thinking about you as a result, and... <gasps> Hello there. Good evening. Goodness, did you see how he looked at you? Please stop it, Rita. <sighs> Come on, stop being so shy already. New life means a new life, right? You're gonna be divorced really soon, and Andre's not married either. It's time to get out of that rut. Mm -hmm. Is that your big plan for me? You'll be thanking me for this, girl. Anya. Anya! Yes, schedules and reports must be on my desk tomorrow. Is that clear? All right, sure. See you tomorrow, then. Good afternoon. Oh, hello there. Why are you carrying such heavy bags all by yourself? I couldn't find a helper, I guess. Let me help you out then. Here, give them to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very kind. Kasha, what are you doing here? I came to see you, actually. What do you mean? I left my wife yesterday. Right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you saying that you came back to me forever? If you don't kick me out, yes. <laughs> Violetta, I love you so much. I, I just can't live without you. It took you far too long, Pasha. I understand. I was slow. I should have made up my mind earlier. What are you expecting me to do now? To give you an answer right now without thinking about it? No, of course not. When you're ready, we'll get together and talk. Sounds good. There's charm in these small cities, you know? One hell of a small city, over a million citizens. Well, any city would seem small compared to Moscow, right? Don't get me wrong, I love it here as well. People are kinder, and it's calmer to live here. Mm -hmm. The first time I came to Voronezh, I thought it was huge. Really? Where are you from, by the way? I'm from a tiny little city. Mm-hmm. All right, here we are. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, has your car been repaired yet? No, not yet. How come? It's a half-day job. Apparently, they don't think so at the auto repair shop. Oh, well, thank you for helping me. My absolute pleasure. <laughs> if you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I've got a car service, even tomorrow, if you need it.
We need to change it, I'm telling you. It needs to be changed. All right, you guys, you do your job and stay focused. Good afternoon. Hello. We really appreciate that you have chosen us. Really? I don't think I appreciate it as much. Excuse me? I don't understand. What's not to understand? My car's been here a week, and it's not ready yet. How come? A week? Well, that can't be. That must be a mistake. Yeah, there's been a mistake, all right. The big mistake is that my car is still outside. Is this really your car? Yes. What's surprising you? Or does the speed of repair in your workshop depend on the brand of the vehicle? Um, no, of course not. No, sir. All right, let's make a deal here so that there are no issues between the two of us. I'll be taking my repaired car this evening. Is that clear? Yes. Good. It'll be ready tonight without fail. All right, guys, leave it. Get down to it quickly. Don't worry, it'll be done. All the best. You have a great day. Oh, here you are. This is the report you asked me for. Oh, awesome. Cool. Thanks. Listen, when are we going to have lunch? Oh, girl, no, I can't go to lunch. The management is raging. I need to render the quarterly report. I'll be here until late. All right, then. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy. Anya, hey, come over to my table, please. I've got a spare seat. Uh, come on, I insist. Don't be shy. Thank you. Here. Let's see here. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy your meal. Thank you. The same to you. <laughs> I think the whole place is looking at us right now. Really? Uh, I don't see anything reprehensible about having lunch with a superior. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everybody here shares your <laughs> opinion. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. Great. When can I pick it up? Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. <sighs> that was the auto shop. I can take the car in the evening. Thank you so much. And how did you know I had something to do with your car being ready today? <laughs> Female intuition. <laughs> but honestly, you have no idea how much this means to me. I'm going to a picnic tomorrow. We've had this tradition since university. Our group gathers together every year. Mm -hmm. And most of my ex-schoolmates have no cars, so this is... Is there no work tomorrow? <laughs> of course not. It's Saturday. Oh, wow. This is what working too much is like. <laughs> uh, where are you thinking of going for the weekend? Me? To be honest, I wasn't going anywhere. Oh. Do you want to join us on the picnic? Thank you very much for the invitation. But what would your husband think if I were to go? <laughs> My husband won't think about it at all. He's he's lost the right to vote, you could say. Is it that bad at home? No, why would it be? I think the beginning of a new life is not that terrible. <laughs> so, will you come to the picnic? Sure, I will. But you have to let me drive us there. And I also have a counter offer for you. We should be on a first name basis. Or it will kind of be a bit uncomfortable with all your schoolmates. <laughs> I'm sorry, that might take some getting used to. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Plus, there'll be plenty of time on our way to the picnic. <laughs> Good morning. Hush. Did you forget? And Fisa wants to make us work. Oh, that's right. But why are you whispering? I don't want to wake her up and sneak out of here quick while she's still sleeping. Yeah, where are you going? To the country to visit my mom. <sighs> I'm going to the picnic with my ex-schoolmates. Did Lover sneak out too or what? Half an hour ago, he took Ginger to the dog show. But he's not purebred. So what? It's a cool excuse. 
Oh, girls, you're here, and you're awake. That's great news. Listen, girls, the repair work is canceled for today. The reticulitis hurts so bad I can hardly walk. Let's just do it next weekend, shall we? All right? Uh, uh. <laughs> I woke up so early for no reason. <laughs> Goodness, he's a good-looking man. I wouldn't think he's a director. Oh, if only I was a free woman, my God. <gasps> I'm glad oh. Yurka didn't just hear you. Well, well, forget about me. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the vegetables and thinking if I have enough. So tell me, did you invite Andre on purpose, or do you have some sort of romance? <laughs> Ira, think before talking. The man is new in the city. He doesn't know anybody. Well, he oh, knows no. our entire group now but still only looks at you for some reason. She's got a point. Mm -hmm. All right, stop that. We're just acquaintances. <sighs> no, we're just acquaintances, and that's it. But hey, we don't mind. Your Lesh has got nothing on this hung. Agreed. What does he have to do with it? Exactly. I always knew nothing good would ever come out of that little mama's boy of yours. Well, I'm not much of a fisherman, really. I'm even ashamed to admit it. I can't even handle a spinner. I mean, I thought the line got twisted, and then there was a fish. Uh, Pike? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me neither. He just looked at you in such an interesting way, girl. <laughs> Why would he be looking at me? Who else would he be looking at? At me? At me? <laughs> at you, of course. <laughs> you were the cleverest one back in high school, and now you don't know a thing mm -hmm. about life? Right. It'll burn, guys, I'm telling you. Oh, calm down. You better go help the girls. No, no, no. no we'll no, do it no, on no. our own. We'll do it on our own. You wanted to help us? Uh, look, you need to cut these peppers and cucumbers, and I'll deal with the bread. He's going to start singing now. Irina, you should have made him peel potatoes instead. For sure. <laughs> I would have done it if I knew. Who would have known? Mm -hmm. I swear I would have. Do you ladies like singing? Uh, I actually love singing. You just haven't heard poor Leon try to sing. <laughs> Mm. Well, that's a sad Ooh. fact, yeah. He's a very mm -hmm. good guy. We love mm -hmm. him. It's just as soon as he gets offended, he takes the guitar mm -hmm. and starts playing. He really has no ear or voice. Uh, uh, but we put up with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. <laughs> Can I help you tune the guitar? Do you know how? Give it to me. Did you see? The eyes, the eyes, like that on you. We told you, we told you. But it's true. Look. <laughs> wow, can you play the guitar, Andre? Yeah, can we? Perhaps you'll sing for us. A little amateur. I bet you're good. I'm an amateur, but I'll sing. I'm gonna sing something from KSP. What's KSP? Something with consumal communism. Ты у меня одна, словно в ночи луна, словно в степи сосна, словно в году весна. Нет другой такой, ни за какой рекой, нет за туманами. Дальними странами Вот поворот какой Делается с рекой Можешь отнять покой Можешь махнуть рукой Можешь отдать долги Можешь любить других Можешь совсем уйти I'm happy you came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you been bored? Not at all. Quite the opposite. It was like a rest for my soul. Your schoolmates are all great. They're so open and sincere. That's a rarity in our time, mm -hmm. That's right. Today people are always hiding something to try to look better than they actually are, you know? Yeah? What are you hiding? <laughs> I'm one of those dinosaurs who prefers being themselves, even if it isn't pretty. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, be careful.
we should go back. They're probably uh, looking for us. Yeah. I think your friend Leon should buy a new guitar. That old one is just impossible to tune. <laughs> What's the point, though? It's not like it's gonna make him sing any better. Well, then we've only got one option. Not to offend him anymore. <laughs> we'll try not to. Hello? Wait, what? Our house is on fire. Oh, darling, how horrible. My God. I woke up and there was already a pillar of smoke in the hallway. Then it spread to the neighbors and two apartments are gone. Oh. I told them a million times that the wiring was over. No one paid attention. This is just so awful. And Rita went to visit her mom. Does she know yet? Anya, don't worry. We took her things and your things, too. We grabbed what we could, of course. They're all over there, sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much for that. No need to thank me. Do you know how much stuff is burned in there? Don't worry about it. We'll provide you with material assistance from the plant. Everything will be all right. Assistance is good, but where are we going to live? Sleep in the street or what? What are you saying? I'll deal with this issue immediately. Ginger! Hello? Ginger! No. Can't find him anywhere. Is he in the apartment? Oh, no. Ginger! 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 My ginger! Come here, puppy. Come here on you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I can stay on the bench with the dog for a while. Lavra, what fine. bench would that be? The poor dog is going to be homeless. What about us? We're all homeless. All right, sure. Okay, folks, we have the following situation. Here's the deal. Unfortunately, there are only two rooms available in all the hotels in the entire city. Because of some convention that's going on, I, I don't know. So those of you who have relatives, you need to go there, and we'll provide transportation. How will we fit into rooms? There are way too many of us, sir. Come on, Valentina. We'll fit in somehow. Thank you so much. Anya, no why problem. do you need the hotel? Your mother-in-law lives somewhere in town, doesn't she? Uh, Anya, I'm taking you. All right, folks, here comes the bus. Uh, take your things and get settled. Go Come on. on. Okay, go ahead. let's go. Come on, let's go quickly. Ginger, let's go. All right, let's go. Where does your mother-in-law live? I'll take you there. Uh, not far from here, but I'm not going to her place now. How come? It would have felt uncomfortable to talk about my personal problems in front of the neighbors. We weren't getting along well, and now since my husband started a new relationship in Moscow, she doesn't even consider me a daughter-in-law. I see. Let's go to my place, then. Uh, I've got a fairly big apartment. You'll stay in the bedroom, and I'll take the sofa in the living room, and with great pleasure. <laughs> Anya, we don't have any other options for today. Let's go there. <laughs> mm Acting so cold and serious, then I shouldn't expect any good news, right? Pasha, 
It truly hurts me to say this, but I won't be able to start a new relationship with you. I don't want to, actually. I understand. It's not destiny, then. So what are you going to do now? I'll spend a couple of weeks at my friend's place until they finish the new house. Wait, what house? My house. I hoped it would be our house. You have your own house? <sighs> you thought I would come with empty hands, didn't you? I've got a house and I also have a car. I bought tickets to the Maldives. I wanted to give you a surprise vacation. You surprised me, all right. <sighs> right. As they often say, true love can never be forced. Goodbye. Violetta. for you. Finally. I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm still shocked about the fire. I know. Uh, I'm even afraid to look at what's left of the place. We've been saving and gathering for so long and now it's all dust. By the way, where did you sleep, huh? And Pisa said you weren't in the hospital. I was at Mr. Shvedov's. You were? With Andre? That's a twist it in the plot. Well done. Did you use the advice I gave you then? It wasn't anything like that. You're lying. Promise. Oh, wow, girlfriend. You amaze me, girl. You were alone in an apartment with such a hunk at night and nothing happened? That's criminal. You had such a chance. <laughs> Leisha? Why are you home so early? Hey, babe. <clears throat> there were layoffs at my company. Well, that's bad news. Are they going to fire you? Yep, they already did. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> what are you going to do now, then? What could I do? Just look for another job. I'm an excellent specialist. I'll find something in no time. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the fact that an excellent specialist doesn't get fired, and you're wrong to think it's easy to find a new job in Moscow. People look for years. Well, first, I already found a job once. Second, this is not the end of the world. No, I'll just surf the internet for a couple of months and find a job that's just as good. A couple of months? Are you kidding me? Let alone the fact that you live in my apartment, and now I'm going to have to provide for you? What do you mean? I mean, I need a man who will solve my problems, not give me more of them. Do you understand me? This is the problem. We need to make the fire victims settle somewhere urgently. They cannot stay in hotels forever, okay? What if we gave them temporary accommodation at our tourist hostel? Agreed, yes. That's a good idea. Start arranging the accommodations today. But it's all temporary. We need more permanent housing. How's the plant's housing coming along? We're finishing it. It will be completed in a month. No, no. We can't wait for another month. The winter is coming. All right, we need to work harder on this. Have it ready in 10 days maximum, and not a day later. That is a difficult task. Nobody here says it's going to be easy. By the way, we have to give them monetary assistance. People have been left without anything. Valerie, make sure that the compensation is paid as soon as possible. That's it for now. Thank you, everyone. I to know that he was building a new house. What do you need this Pasha for? You told me he was old anyway. 
He's old, yeah, but the house Ooh, is new. But don't worry about it, Violetta. Your son is all right. He lives in Moscow. He has a decent job and a girlfriend. Oh, uh, look at this. Speak of the devil. Hold these. Hello there, my son. How's everything going there? How's my new daughter-in-law, the wonderful chef? Mom, I'm coming home tomorrow. You're on vacation, son? No, not on vacation. Forever. I'll tell you tomorrow, right? Bye. Leash. Leisha. And the bad just got worse. Girls, girls, wait! Do you know how to get to this tourist hostel by any chance? They said they'll be sending buses. But all our things are over at the hotel, though. Well, then we'll go to the hotel first and then move to the hostel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. Let's go. Hey, Anya, girlfriend. We're pretty lucky, I guess. We don't have much baggage. You know, I don't regret anything. Hello? I feel like that fire at our place also burned every part of my old life. All right, come here. All right. Look, your new one is here. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I think I forgot my phone in the office. I've been so darn distracted lately. <sighs> Hello? Hello. Uh, the bus is already here to take everyone to the hostel. Uh, however, I've got an individual offer to make you. What offer? I would like to take you there personally. Uh... You know, I think I better go on the bus with everybody else. But thank you. <sighs> and the phone was in the bag, as it turns out. You amaze me, girl. He offered to give you a ride over to the hotel, and you refused him. Yes, I did refuse it. Because I don't want the entire plan to talk about us. You're lucky. You've got yourself a good man. Let them be jealous. I got myself a good man, huh? Why would you think that he's not married? Oh, come on. Where's his wife, then? Where's his wife, then? <sighs> hmm? I don't know. Maybe she stayed back in Moscow. Yeah, right. She stayed in Moscow. What normal woman would let such a wonderful man go? He's single. Have you seen a ring on his finger? Oh, that'd be quite the evidence, right? Here's the start of our new life. Everything from scratch, no apartment, no belongings. Yeah, and no men. Divorce and back to our maiden names. Anya, hold on, what's divorce? What do you mean? Yeah, Anya's going to apply for divorce soon. Oh, really, dear? Unbelievable. My sweet girls, I've got liquor <laughs> for such occasions. It's absolutely delicious cherry. <laughs> My emergency stash, so to speak. All right, Rita. Here. Pour it, dear. Don't be upset about this, Anya. To putting the past behind us now. Your Alicia is going to regret everything you'll see, dear. All right. Let us now make a toast to our brand new life and future. <sighs> no. No, 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 Rita. This is my emergency stash. Who knows what might happen? God forbid it. Come on, Anfisa. All right, girls. Time to sleep. We have work early in the morning. Hmm? Wait, wait. Just one more piece. All right. Yeah? Hello, Rita. 
Uh, where's Anya? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, that's a strange question. I came home. So where's Anya? Um, didn't she divorce you already? Did you say divorce? Yes. <sighs> oh, 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 I nearly burnt my hair because of that idiot. I'm so excited for the weekend. We're going to get in trouble with this project. And would I be able to get my maiden name back, do you think? Yes, sure. There's a feel for it right there. And what if the other spouse doesn't show up to the divorce? Then it will be done by the book. And if it happens three times, we'll divorce you automatically. Of course, that is if you don't have children or any property claims against each other. Mm -hmm. Here you are, Anya. Alicia, what are you doing in here right now? Well, I wasn't expecting to see you here either. Oof. Application? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Nothing at all. I'm ripping this up because I don't want to divorce you. Hmm. Anya, there's one thing I'm going to tell you. I love you and I always will. Everything else is just gossip. Gossip? Yes. Your girlfriend made it very clear that I should leave you alone and stop uh, calling you, What actually. girlfriend? I'm telling you once again. I left the phone at work and the guys played a big joke on me. A bad joke? Are you kidding me? Leisha, I'm sick of your lies already. I need to get a divorce. No, hold on. Let's not rush into this, please. Uh, please, just give me some more time and I'll fix everything. There's nothing left to fix, Leisha. Anya. And he just had to show up right at that moment. What are you going to do? His showing up won't change anything for me. I could never forgive his betrayal. That's right, girl. Let him go his way, and you'll go yours. And besides, you've got Andre in your life now. Rita, what does he have to do with this? Just don't tell me that you don't like him. I do, I do, but... This is an unknown number. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Are we being official again? Andre? The one and only. I'd like to invite you to a wonderful concert. It's a jazz concert. I hope you're not going to say no. <laughs> I'm not. That sounds great. All right, great. I'll pick you up at 7, then. I'll be waiting at the main entrance. All right. See you there, then. See you. Awesome. You don't even have to tell me anything. <laughs> Misha, I just don't understand why you want to work at our plant, son. For peanuts, especially. I'm telling you, I want to get back to Anya. That's it. To Anya. Go away. <laughs> All right, I get it. It didn't work out with that Natasha. Find yourself another girl, but a better one. Don't you get it? I don't want another better girl, Mom. Hello, I have a wife. Goodness, son. Who did you get this from? From Dad. Exactly, from your dad. The only good thing is that this Anya is getting an apartment soon. I guess at least she's good for something. You think this is because of an apartment? Actually, I just don't think so. Fine. Are you going to help me get a job or should I ask someone else then, Mom? Oh, dear, Leisha. Life's not teaching you any lessons. All right. Fill out your application then. Now you're talking. With what reference? Mine, of course. All right. Thank you so much. No, really, you gave me such a gift today. You can't imagine how long it's been since I last went out somewhere. Got it. In that case, tomorrow we'll be doing the theater. Tomorrow? No, I think we'll go to the theater, perhaps the day after tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to go skating instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for everything. Anya. Maybe we can still consider my offer concerning going to the restaurant. No, no thanks. It's a bit too late. 
Uh, I don't want to say goodbye yet. There's nothing good about it. My coat's stained. I got pushed on the bus. <sighs> However, you're glowing today. Is it that obvious? It's obvious. I haven't seen you like this before. Actually, you could tell me where you disappeared. I came yesterday and you weren't there. I called, but you didn't pick up. I'm sorry, Rita. Don't be mad. We were at the concert and then we had a long chat afterwards. So it's going pretty good? Even better. Mm. Well, at least one of us has it good. <laughs> what? From what I understand, something happened, right? I got sad somehow. I don't know. I broke up with Xenia, and I just don't know what to do with Victor. Mm, there, there, poor mm. girl. But there's one big advantage in this. I realize that I don't need anybody but my Victor. Good, he'll be back, and it'll be all fine. The worst part is, I don't think he'll ever come back. Hmm. But those you don't need anymore always come back. All right, I'll go. Hello there, Anya. Hello, Alicia. What are you doing here? I work here. <laughs> Why here? Why not here? A man's got to work somewhere, right? Besides, I want to be closer to you. Alicia, but why would you want that? I just don't want our family to be destroyed by my foolishness. Yeah? Don't you think you've destroyed it enough already? Hey, Anya, the shop master's looking for you. Yeah, I'm coming. No. Anya. Anya, we're not finished. How nice it is to wake up to the smell of coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pity that it's not a day off, right? That way we could make coffee all morning long. Yeah, well, someone's gonna be late for work now. So it's up to you whether you want coffee or... Everybody knows what to do. We can't fall behind schedule under any circumstances, so let's do it, guys. By evening, it shall be done. Take your places. You're late again, Anya. I'm sorry, I know, Mr. Oleg. I overslept. We don't have much time left before we commission the plane. We need to complete hydraulic checks today. Mm, all right, I'll do it now. Yes, prepare a full report on the expenses associated with the production of the new plane. All right, boss, I'll get Thank right you. to it. <sighs> Hello. Hello. What are the plans for this evening? I honestly haven't thought about it. It's okay, I already thought for the both of us today. I'm inviting you to my very favorite restaurant. The chef has already been warned. You're going to have a fantastic dinner. <laughs> Sounds very tempting. All right, I just need to change and we'll go. Great, it's a deal. I'll, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock outside, all right? See ya. Go get changed. <laughs>
Wait a minute. What happened? <sighs> Did you know that Anya has something with Mr. Svedov? What? Why do you think I so? I know, because I saw them. Now you've got proof? Uh -huh. Hmm? Now you've got it. You didn't believe me. Your Anya would do anything to cash uh -huh. in. It didn't work with you, and she switched to the director. Good yeah. job, well, well done. Well, I didn't expect it to be with the boss. All right, calm down. Just calm down. I'm already calm. No, you're not calm. First, calm down. Second, get divorced immediately. No way. That is something I'll never do. I will fight for her until the end. I am Anya's husband. Mm -hmm. And it's high time someone remembered that. Leisha. Leisha! Hello? Uh, hello there. Uh, where's Mr. Spedoff? Is there a problem, sir? It's personal. I'll put you on the schedule. No, it's very urgent. Extremely urgent. Mr. Andre? Sorry. It's Krimov. Uh, Lisa Krimov. I'm Anya's husband. Come on in. Uh. I'm all ears. You better stop flirting with my wife immediately. Excuse me? I saw you talking to her. In the hallway earlier. Stop messing with our family. Look, young man, as far as I know, you haven't had a family for quite a well, while. Well, that is none of your business. We may be going through a difficult phase, but Anya and I love each other, so find yourself somebody else. Is that clear? the warehouse <laughs> but the work day is over let's do it tomorrow <sighs> all right fine I'm coming Good evening. Are you moving in or what? Almost. I am Anya's husband. I came and she's not here. <laughs> Could you please give me the key to her room? How would I know you're her husband, though? Oh, I'll show you my passport. <sighs> hmm. Here you go. Hmm. hmm? Well, since you're her husband, <sighs> well, here is the key. Mm -hmm. Room 17. <sighs> it's around the corner, sir. That way. Thanks a lot. Yeah. 
subscriber is currently not available. You? <clears throat> Where's Anya? In the shower. Shall I call her? No, thanks. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, too. Yes. Oh, Anya, what are you doing here? Hold on, here are the keys. I'll open up. Oh, here you are. My goodness. Oh, dear. Why are you here? How did it happen? What happened? I don't even know, Aunt Polly. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Anya, what happened, dear? I don't understand this. Andre's phone has been switched off since last evening. He would have warned me if he couldn't come. Maybe something happened to him. Let's try and just call his office then. Someone there might know. Good idea. Hello? Good morning. Um, can I please speak to Andre if he's available? I'm afraid not. He's busy now. Oh, is he busy because he isn't at work? Or because he really is busy? I apologize, but I must hang up now. Ah. Well, at least we know that he's at work and that he's completely fine. Calm <sighs> down. Goodness. You'll get to work and find out everything. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I need to see Andre, please. Andre, hello? It's Anya Krimova. Tell her I'm busy at the moment. ashamed of yourself? Me? Don't act innocent. I'm talking to you. Or is there someone else having an affair with the director? <sighs> Violetta, I think that's none of your business. Actually, everything that concerns my son concerns me as well. Well, this has nothing to do with your son either. Our divorce is a question of time now. Yes, that's what you're saying now. You grab the director of the plant and think you've got yourself a lucky ticket, right? <laughs> Not even close. Your Shvedov is married. I saw his wife with my own eyes. She's pretty. A bright brunette. Very beautiful, by the way. And to top it off, she's pregnant. So your Andrei Shvedov is going to be a father soon. I don't believe you. Ask him yourself if you want. Or did you dream that he would marry you seriously? <laughs> oh, I just love your countryside naivete. Just think about it. Why would he need you? Just for an affair? 
while his pregnant wife is waiting for him back in Moscow. Who knows, maybe she'll decide to move here too, am I right? Best wishes, darling. Yes, Shredov here. Andre, it's Vladimir. Listen, I couldn't get through to you all day long. What's going on with uh, your phone? Is there something wrong with my phone? Hold on a second. <sighs> Sorry, Vladimir, it's my fault. I just forgot to switch it on. What a thing to do. I don't even know what to think. Andre, Andre, can you hear me? Uh, listen, Vladimir, uh, can I call you back later? Good evening. Excuse me. Oh, oh Andre, you scared me. Half Sorry, to death. I didn't mean to. Please tell me something. Uh, perhaps uh, yes. you saw one of our employees here last evening. She's a blonde woman named Anya Kromova. Oh. Huh? Oh, dear, what can I say? What? I, you know, there was an occasion, actually. It happened yesterday. Anya, she spent all evening here and she was shouting for help. The no, door was really? shut, something like that, something or other. I don't know. I told them a million, a million Thank times you. to install a new lock. A new lock, that one gets stuck. You see, listen, if I hadn't found her, she Thank would have you. had a fit. Just make we'll sure you change it. that lock right away. You see, listen. And Fisa, can I come in? Sure, Anya, come in. What happened, sweetie? Nothing happened, I'm fine. Uh, here's the heater I borrowed from you. I brought it. What's the hurry? You could bring it tomorrow. Um, I won't be here tomorrow, actually. I want to take a vacation. Vacation? Mm -hmm. Well, good. You could sure use a vacation. Uh, <sighs> Anfisa, thank you very much for, um, for everything. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yes? And Fisa, I... Oh, oh no. Flowers? <laughs> yes. For me? Yeah. Wait outside, please, all right? Shh. I'll be ready sure. soon. Sure. <sighs> he invited me to a concert. How sweet is that? The flowers. <laughs> All right, now where on earth is my boss? Where on earth would my boss be? Well, I'm off. Yeah, and you'll go. Get a good night's rest.
Oh, hello, Andre. Good evening. Hello. Anya's not here. Where is she? She went away. Where did she go? She said something about a vacation. What vacation? Oh, Andre, I'm sorry. I really don't know. The subscriber is currently not available. Hello. Hello. You look radiant this morning. Did you fall in love? No. I'm just in a good mood today. The documents are mm -hmm. ready to go. Fantastic. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Violetta. How are you? How may I help you? Tell me, did Anya Kromova apply for a vacation at all? Vacation? Mm -hmm. If that's what you want to call it, yes, she resigned. She resigned? When? Just like that. She came in the morning, said that she's not going to work here anymore, and she left. Excuse me. Hello, Rita, can I talk to you for a second? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you right now, but you're Anya's best friend and I need to know. Tell me honestly, why did she quit her job? Oh, Andre, I really don't know what's happening, to be honest. I think maybe it could be because of you. Because of me? Well, yeah. It's just that as far as I know, you didn't answer any of your phone calls yesterday. You ignored them, and she was really worried. That's because I was a fool. I regret it. I thought she got back together with her husband. Where would you get that from? Well, what else would any normal person have thought? I went to her place. I saw him there, in a towel. Oh, that Leisha. She would never take him back. She mm. really wouldn't. But she couldn't just abandon everything and resign just like that because I didn't answer her phone calls, right? Perhaps Leisha told her something as well. Or maybe Violetta, right? Some sort of lie? What does she have to do with it? What do you mean, a lot? Don't you know she's Anya's... What? Mother-in-law? Tell me something, Rita. Where do you think I could find Anya? At her mother's, perhaps. Where does her mother live? Good afternoon, sir. Who are you looking for? Good afternoon. I'm looking for Anya. Anya doesn't live here. You know, she's been living in another city for several years now. Hold on a second. So, uh, she hasn't come home to you then? No, sir. She did call a few days ago, and she said she was doing great and all was good. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Did something happen to her? Uh, sorry for bothering you. I'm sure she's fine. I just need a word with her. I'll go try her place. Thank you very Have much. Have a nice day. <sighs> Anya, you need to stop crying and pick yourself up. You're so pretty and intelligent. You have it all, and true love will find you, dear. Mom, I don't want love. Oh, 
Take a deep breath, Anya. Calm down, sweetie. Time will pass and everything will be fine. You can go back to your own No, home. I'm not going back to Varunesh. But what about your job, darling? <sighs> Mom, I can find another job here. <sighs> Don't you worry, Mom. We're gonna be all right here. <laughs> Hey, yeah, it's me. Finally, girl, you disappeared without basically saying anything. I didn't even know what to think. What a friend you are. I haven't heard anything from you for a whole month. Yeah, I'm sorry. I needed this break. I wanted to get away. I needed to sort myself out. Well, and did you? Nope. Not yet, but I do miss you so much. I miss you too, girlfriend. Listen, I've got good news. They finished the plant housing and soon we'll receive permits to move in. Are you serious? Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah, I'm excited. You should have held for another week too. Are you at your mom's? Yeah. <gasps> Listen, I ran into Leisha recently and I told him everything, everything he deserved to get in life. He's such a creep, you know, trying to ruin your life again. He has nothing to do with it. If not him, then who? If it wasn't for him, you would have been with Andre now. That love is impossible. How come? Because he's already married. And he's also got a baby on the way. you tell me you were coming? Because I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, it's an amazing surprise. I've missed you so much, baby. <laughs> I know how much you missed me. You've been with Xenia, if I heard correctly. And me working day and night in Moscow like a fool for a new place for us. Victor, listen, I baby... dreamed that I'd come back and we'd have an entirely new life together. And I came back and I see that you have an entirely new life. Vic, Victor, listen to me. I thought you had another woman in Moscow and that you abandoned me. Oh, what, another woman? I work like a dog all day. <laughs> just, just don't lie to me anymore, come on. I know how much fun you have over there in Moscow. Anya's Lisha went to Moscow to earn money too and he quickly found himself another woman. Well, that's not my case. I was faithful to you. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're saying now, because whenever I called you, you never picked up any of my calls. Oh, great. Putting the blame on someone else. Nice going. Victor. Victor, honey, I beg you. Forgive me, please. I know how bad I messed up, but I promise you that, that I love you so much. All right, come on. Come here. <laughs> The plant has produced the aircraft according to the order of the Ministry of Emergencies. The plane is capable of performing a wide range of tasks for saving victims in the emergency areas. Anya, Leisha's here to see you, dear. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, Madam, may I come in? Please leave us alone, please. I'm sorry. Thank you. <sighs> yes, what I did was mean, but I... I barely knew what I was doing back then, I know. 
Look, Anya, I was fighting for you and everything's fair in war, right? Lisha, it doesn't even matter anymore. Why doesn't it? Anya, why doesn't it matter? I've been thinking a lot during this whole month and I, I realized I can't live without you. Let's give it another shot, please. It would never work out. Neither of us will be able to forget anything. I totally will. I almost forgot everything already. <sighs> Anya, it was so good when we were together. It was. Sorry, but it's all in the past now. It won't ever be the same way again. <laughs> Do you still want to be with him? Is that it? That's not the point. The point is, I don't want to be with you. Let's have some tea. Sorry to call this number, but I asked Rita for it. Please forgive me. Oleg, hello. It's so nice to hear your voice again. I'm calling for a reason, actually. The aircraft salon will be opening tomorrow, and we decided to head over there in our newly commissioned aircraft. Great. Congratulations on that. Don't be modest. This plane is your creation, and in short, we're not flying without you, so come to the airfield as soon as possible. You're exaggerating, Mr. Oleg. No, actually, this aircraft is your achievement, and we couldn't have done it on time without you. You can't turn us down. Right, but it's also unexpected, and who else would be coming? You and I, and, well, actually, the crew, apparently. And that's it? Did you want someone else to come? Mm, no, not at all. That's a great team we got. Well, are you coming, then? Uh, I'll try to make it, if there's still time. You have to make it, Anya. I'll be waiting for you. So head on over. <laughs> right, I got it, Mr. Oleg. Consider me on my way there. See you in a bit. She's coming. For sure? Well, if she said she will, she'll come. <sighs> Thank you, Oleg. I really mean it. You helped me out a lot here. Oh, come on, Andre. It's nothing. I'll be very glad myself if she comes. Right. She worked through the whole project, and she truly deserves to see the outcome. I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. Andre, this is the right thing to do. Thank you for your support. Finally, Anya. Mr. Oleg, forgive me for God's sake. The bus got stuck halfway there. It doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that you're here. Everybody's here and ready to go. The flight is in half an hour. Let's go. Sorry. Good morning, everybody. Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning Anya. Anya. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so, um, hey, what time did this look? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh. I'm, I'm glad, glad as well. Okay. Well, what airline? Uh, All right. I don't know. Okay. That's okay. That's good. That's a good, I think it's going to be a good flight. I hope they have snacks, so I'm starved. <laughs> I think they only serve peanuts. <laughs> I know a good joke. Two flight hostesses are talking. Uh, One of them says, I've only realized how important it is to fasten okay. the seatbelt. Why? The latest catastrophe showed it all. Those who hadn't fastened the seatbelts weren't even found. And those who had done it looked just like living people. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, pilots Sorry. know the real conditions of our aviation better than anyone. This is why we're on the top of the list of the people who are afraid to fly. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
A passenger complains about the food. Lady, if you knew the condition of our engines, you would have an appetite. What? You okay? Oh, dear God. Uh, Is everyone uh, all right? I think so. Uh, Anya, how are you? Uh, me? Uh, I think I'm fine, actually. What about Mr. Andre? Andre, are you okay? Andre, oh. you okay? Oh. Oh, oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. Andre, 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 oh. my God, can you hear me, Andre? Somebody call the ambulance, oh. please. Oh. Oh. Andre, come on, open your eyes, open. Oh. Hello, Doctor. Hello there. How's Andre doing? He's stable now, but he has a severe brain contusion. Let's see how he makes it through tonight, then we'll know a bit more about his condition. Can I see him, Doctor, please? Who are you to him? We don't allow strangers to visit. I'm not a stranger, Doctor. I'm his wife. His wife can visit him. Come on, I'll walk you there. Madam, I've got news for you. Your husband is awake and well. Thank you so much. All right. Look, let's throw away this clock. It's so loud that it can raise a dead man from the grave. No, it's an antique. It was my grandma's, honey. But why do we need an old clock in the new apartment? But we have nothing to put in there. What do you mean, nothing? Baby, you have me, and I have you. <laughs> hmm? Can you hear my heart beating for you? That's the clock ticking, silly. That's what you think. <laughs> mm. Mm. <sighs> Anya, I'm so glad to see you. Bad timing, I'm guessing? It's never a bad time. We're just packing our things and moving to the new apartment. Oh, guys, I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> Tell us how you're doing, Anya. <laughs> All right, I'll make some tea, ladies, OK? Well, did you visit Andre? Yeah, I just came from there. Well, and? He's fine. He's doing much better. Thank goodness. So you're staying in town, then? Uh, no, I'm leaving. The train is leaving in an hour. Are you out of your mind, girl? Anya, have you even talked to him yet? What for? It's not like it would change anything. So get well soon, Andre, mm -hmm. because we're lost without you. You'll be happy to hear that our plane was a real success at the launch, Andre. Was it really? Really, they promised to have us buried in orders. I never really doubted it. I'm so sorry, folks, <laughs> to interrupt your visit with the patient. But I have to remind you that Andre needs his rest. Yes, sure, we're just about to leave. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Thank you, thank you. Get well. Get well, Thank soon. you, Sveta, thank you. All right, how are you feeling today? Better, better, I guess. That's good. Where's your wife? My wife? Why are you asking about her? Well, why wouldn't I? She spent all last evening by your side. Larissa? 
by Larissa. Her name was Anya, I think. Seriously, Anya, I think you should have talked to him. You were so silly to just leave. You, you had to straighten things out before leaving. I'm not even sure it would have made me feel better. <laughs> 